Australia, it's Fred back on the George Elmy. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a couple of jobs. Seeing as we're still well into a sanding programme, we don't want to bore you with more and more sanding and more and more coats, but as we are now, this has had a primer and these marks here are the final fill. That'll be sanded. Another primer and then we'll start undercoating and that's on there. Up on the front here, We've started now, this is a bull ring they use for torn ropes. It's a little door fits on the top, that's been nicely bulled up. Inside here we've got two stainless bolts. We've had to make them up ourselves, but it's normally screws in there, but we've put bolts in because there was a repair on the stem, so we've modified the job slightly and that'll be a stronger job. That's, there's not much chance of that coming off now. So that's that part of the job done. So what we'll do is we'll adjourn down to another part of the workshop and we'll show you how we, we made these bolts up. Now this is a bolt with a countersunk head on the top. Now we're going to make one of them, we'll show you how we do that. We'll get some bar made up for it. This is a bit of stainless and it comes with so much thread on it and a length. So what we do is we measure the length of our bolt, we'll cut it off the length plus a half an inch and we'll make the half inch makes up the head of the bolt. So what we'll have is a block of steel with a countersunk in, the same as the countersink on the, the fitting that we're going to put on. So we'll just make these up to suit our own. So we'll put a, this is just a sample piece just to show you. This is a bit of the bar in there, that's put in the vise with a half inch sticking through the top. That will go on there in a minute. So what we'll do now is we'll put the torch on, if you give just a second. What we'll do now is stick this jig on the top and put a bit of heat onto this. You've got to use the settling because you want the heat just on the top of the bolt head. I don't want it to travel all the way down the, the job. So we'll just get that. And we'll just give this a couple of heats. So we're going just on the very top. I'll just pass this to my helper here. Pass it on just in case. It's a bit of a hard metal, it gets harder as you heat it. Right in the crown of the head, they're nice and soft. Jig. That keep that base really tight for the work. Just try and tap that out. And there we we'll have a bolt head. We will put that on the grinder now, and we'll put a little round on the top, and it'll cool off. I'm going to put that down now. It's getting a bit warm. All right. So that's how we make our bolts. It's been trimmed over on the grinder a bit. Right, so there's a nicely Finished off bolt, as good as any shop, that'll do us. So that's saved with possibly a week or ten days wait of getting a part or finding a supplier. Job done. Sometimes when we're cutting timbers, 
it finishes up with a lot of shape in it for beams etc and different mouldings and you finish up with a lot of waste due to the shape of the timber so what we we'll have to do is laminate it now here we we'll have a piece we've already glued a bit up yesterday just for the as a demo for you it's only a short bit but you'll be able to see roughly how it works now I'll take this finished one out there's a chock goes on there that's to keep them all pushed down into position it's, it's up on a piece of timber on a couple of blocks just to give you room for cramps so that's the, the job is nice and clean ready for the next piece to go on so we'll just remove our paper That will show you a job there. Right. That's a little bit messy. So what we'll do is we'll just two seconds we'll stick this through the machine and let you have a look. Right, so there we have a finished job. So I say we leave it thicker so we can take the glue off. It does tend to stick a little bit going through the machine when you've got the glue on, but once once your glue's off, there's a finished job with a nice bit of shape in it. But that's nice grain strength all the way through. A little trick you can do is when it's on your jig. You can drill a hole through there and you can also glue a peg in and then the wood doesn't strain on the glue but that modern glues you shouldn't have any bother but that's a, a finished job it's a it's a point of uh, dispute with some people whether or not a laminated job is stronger or weaker you know your your natural timber they say is okay but if you look at the short grains that would be left on this section definitely got to be a laminated beam for the the bigger the beam the more radius the stronger the job plus it saves a lot of materials and if you sometimes on some of the uh, the fancy yachts when they do the beams the different layers of laminates so sometimes they put a different color of timber in they might do a mahogany and an oak mix and that actually when it's varnished up gives it a nice bit of edge to it uh, more of a furniture job but unfortunately the, the fishermen that I'm dealing with uh, they're not too bothered about furniture seeing as it's nearly the end of December we hope everybody has a good Christmas and a good new year and we'll see you again in January hopefully the boat's going to be upright then ready to start internal work okay, happy new year